not too long ago, we were in Phoenix recording the new Cavalera Conspiracy album. I got to witness the magic behind Max and Igor. And uh, it's a very exciting time also because you're bringing Nail Bomb back to the masses. After many, many years of only playing one show, you finally get to kind of like unleash the beast. Of course, this is Max Cavalera. Welcome back to New York, brother. How are you? I'm doing great, man. I'm excited to be on tour. Uh, like you say, Nail Bomb. You know, Nail Bomb is a huge record in my career. One of my favorite records. And uh, to bring it to life with, especially the way we did it with Soulfly as a band playing the Point Blank album, it just added a whole nother dimension to it, man. Because Soulfly is a really powerful band, like a powerhouse band. We transformed those songs into real live, powerful live songs. And the shows are going off the hook, man. You know, it's been like crazy sold out everywhere, packed, people losing their mind, which is the nail bomb way. And the show itself is really nail bomb. You know, I don't talk too much between songs. It's almost like I want to be a bit unfriendly with the crowd. You know, it's like that that nail bomb hate <laughs> feeling. You know, so there's not really much how you doing or there's none of that. You know, it's just like song after song, and then we end with sick life, and it's just the last nail in the coffin. <laughs> But when you guys went into the rehearsal room to revisit the tracks, were there any parts that you were kind of like, I gotta remember how I played that? Because it, obviously, because you're relearning some of the songs. Well, we listened to uh, both to, to the record and then to the live one because the live one was really interesting because we already started some transformations, you know, like some of the songs. The records were electronic, you know, especially stuff like Word of Shit, Religious Cancer, some of your achievements. Those are pure electronic songs. Like there's not really, there's a little bit of guitar involved, but it was like sampling guitars, you know? So I listened to what we did live in Holland. That was kind of the base for what we're gonna have Soulfly do it. But then on the course of that, I came up with a different idea, which is like, don't get too caught up on trying to really play exactly how Point Blank was, but more like, just let Soulfly be Soulfly on top of it. You know what I'm saying? And that, I think, it was what's cool about this because it's got a real organic feeling. When we play Word of Shit and Religious Cancer, there's a soulfly groove on the back beat, on the backbone of the track. It is, there's no mistake, it's soulfly, you know? But with that nail bomb, we got all the samplers on top of it. So people don't miss the electronic shit too. So it's cool, man. It, it, was, uh, it was fun going to the practice. It was a big process. We had to get all the samplers from the record, from the master tapes, get them imported, get them in a keyboard, and Igor is doing the keyboards, you know. So it was a long process to get it right. It took about like three weeks of jamming and going to the studio. Same studio that we did the Cavalera album. We did all the samplers there, you know. So, but it was worth it because now it's like perfect. It's like the record to the T, but with the Soulfly weight of a band behind it, which is great, you know. And everybody always asks me when they see this T-shirt what bump clap means. Right. Let's explain right. to them because I'll tell you some, a really funny story. I went to see Slayer recently at Madison Square Garden. As soon as I got there, the security guy's like, you can't wear that here. He said, what is it? Because they didn't know what it means. You know, people don't like when they don't, you know, understand right. what it means. So they were freaking yeah. out. It's like, yo, you got to cover that shirt. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. Well, Bumukla is a cuss word from Jamaica. Translates really is blood clot, you know. But the way Jamaicans say it, they call it clot, you know. I went to Jamaica a lot. I've been there like four times. And I love the way the people speak there, especially when they're cussing. They, when they call you Bumbaclot, it's like bad, you know. It's like calling you motherfucker or, you know, a piece of shit or something. That's just like very aggressive. So I wrote the song Bumbaclot on the first soul fly, which was a killer heavy song and then we did the nail bomb shirt fuck off bumble clot you know but yeah it's just a, it's a jamaican slang and i just love slangs man you know it's cool it's like uh i was talking to igor we almost call it the right the the, the color record uh what did what did, what did Igor wanted to call it uh it was an italian uh, nickname it was like uh porco dio means the pig god you know <laughs> so it's like really like those kind of uh slangs from different countries you know i'm sure colombia you have a lot of slangs right <laughs> they probably sound really cool as as songs you know uh, and that's kind of what nail bomb did we have the song vaito you know like uh, go fuck yourself in portuguese you know and of course we gotta talk about the new cavalier conspiracy album psychosis yeah how did the name come about it's because it's a perfect name that really represents what the songs 
sound like, you know, when I listen to a record, when I go fucking crazy, it was my mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm glad I found the name because the record was going to be called Massacre, which is, um, it's, it's all right, but it's been used before, you know, and the thing I like about was the, you, you could say in Portuguese, Massacre. You know, Spanish, it, it sounds more brutal. But then I was, the more I thought about the record, the more I think that it needed something, a different name. It needed something a little bit more exotic, something that people haven't heard it much before. And throughout some of my, you know, on, on my iPad, going through all these different names, trying to find a name, finally I, I, saw, I found Psychosis. And I was like, yeah, no, that's that's a good name. That's that's a cool name. Reminds me a little bit of two things. Reminds me of mass hypnosis, which was Sepultura, and also schizophrenia, which is also Sepultura. I always like one uh, record with one title, one strong title. You know, schizophrenia, arise, roots, pandemonium, and so for Cavalera Conspiracy, it was the same. So when I mentioned to Igor, Igor loved it right away. Like they thought Psychosis was a great name. I think it's great with the cover with the tribal guy. He looks psycho like a psycho tribal guy, you know? And the songs, the sounds of the records are psycho too. It's like, a, it's a very psycho record. So Psychos is a perfect name. And which tribe does he represent or was it like made up no, or? He's, he's actually not from a tribe. He's actually, the original uh, picture is from Haiti. So he's a voodoo guy. We send Napalm the picture and they, they made the design from the picture and they turned into a tribal guy. But what I think is cool is that He's not really based on any specific tribe, so he's any tribe, you know. He's he's from all tribes, so he's just a psycho guy, a tribal psycho guy, you know, <laughs> which I thought was really cool. Like your very own tribe, what you always represent wherever right, you right. play. What we do anyway is our own tribe, you know. So I love the cover. I think the colors are real cool. I love, I love the horns. Uh, you can see the expression of the tribal guy is very angry very explosive you know matches the music you know and then um on the inside of the cd we're gonna have leonardo da vinci sketches which are really cool i love leonardo da vinci stuff you know but we found all these crazy skulls that he designed and uh, weapons you know so we're gonna put all that inside the, the cd so it's gonna be really cool and it's coming on November 17th by an album Records. It's called Psychosis. And I'm sure No Sofa is also in the works. It is. It's, uh, yeah, the factory keeps going. <laughs> uh, I'm going to finish this tour. I'm going to go home and uh, write a lot of riffs. You know, my goal is to bring some of the tribal stuff back. So it's like a lot of people have been asking. I wanted to, cause I love the, the heaviness of the drums with the guitars. That's amazing. You know, like we had it on Prophecy, we had it on Primitive, you know, the first Soulfly. And that's kind of lost on the Soulfly uh, tours after Dark Ages, we really uh, stopped doing percussion at all you know so i think it's kind of cool now to bring it back it's a perfect time you know uh so the album is going to be deeply tribal uh, very spiritual there's a concept i cannot tell you much because it's kind of a surprise you know but there is a concept behind the record and i have not done a record with a concept like that since roots so this one has got the same kind of feeling that roots has i'm going to work on it uh a lot on it when this tour is over I hope I can enter the studio like around January. We already got uh, the producer, Josh Wilbur. He's the producer that did Killer BQ, Lamb of God. Amazing guy. So he's going to be amazing for this record. So, um, and it's, of course, 20 years since the first one. So it's a great date. You know, it's a special date. So we are hoping we can make a really special record, hopefully with some really cool guests, you know, again. So if I continue the guests' appearance, I don't know who I'm going to get yet, you know, uh, but it, I'm sure it's going to be really cool. And I think it's going to be a special record, man. I have the feeling. When you have the feeling, you have the feeling, you know, and I have right now. I feel uh, it's coming along. I just got to work on the riffs real hard, get the best riffs possible, just like I did with Cavalera, you know. But but the difference is the the, the Soulfly record. I got more room, you know, I, got, I, I can do more stuff with it, you know, because I got like the, the world music element, the tribal element, um, the spiritual element, they give me more room to go even further on on what I can do with the music. So I'm very excited. I think it's going to be a great record. And it's going to come out next year. 
awesome man now you guys know everything that's going on with max's world thank you so much right and on. you know new york loves you let's send them a message to all new york stay metal max cavalera loves you <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>